Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we commemorate Saint Justin the Martyr who came to Jesus Christ to be enlightened in times of confusion, in times of misunderstanding. And so to prepare ourselves to receive the light of Christ in this Eucharist, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and mercy. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Good Shepherd leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who through the folly of the cross one justly taught Saint Justin the Martyr the surpassing knowledge of Jesus Christ. Grant us through his intercession that having rejected deception and error, we may become steadfast in the faith. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, 
forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Tubit. On the night of Pentecost, after I had buried the dead, I, Tubit, went into my courtyard to sleep next to the courtyard wall. My face was uncovered because of the heat. I did not know there were birds perched on the wall above me till their warm droppings settled in my eyes, causing cataracts. I went to see some doctors for a cure, but the more they anointed my eyes with various salves, the worse the cataracts became until I could see no more. For four years, I was deprived of eyesight, and all my kinsmen were grieved at my condition. Abikar, however, took care of me for two years until he left for Elimis. At that time, my wife Anna worked for hire at weaving clothes, the kind of work women do. When she sent back the goods to their owners, they would pay her. Late in winter, on the seventh of distros, she finished the clothes and went it back to the owners. They paid her the full salary and also gave her a young goat for the table. On entering my house, the goat began to bleat. I called to my wife and said, Where did this goat come from? Perhaps it was stolen. Give it back to its owners. We have no right to eat stolen food. She said to me, It was given to me as a bonus over and above my wages. Yet, I would not believe her and told her to give it back to its owners. I became very angry with her over this, so she retorted, Where are your charitable deeds now? Where are your virtuous acts? See, your true character is finally showing itself. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The heart of the just one is firm, trusting in the Lord. The heart of the just one is firm, trusting in the Lord. Blessed the man who fears the Lord, who greatly delights in the commands. His posterity shall be mighty upon the earth, the upright generation shall be blessed. The heart of the just one is firm, trusting in the Lord. An evil report he shall not fear. His heart is firm, trusting in the Lord. His heart is steadfast, he shall not fear, till he looks down upon his foes. The heart of the just one is firm, trusting in the Lord. Lovelessly he gives to the poor. His generosity shall endure forever. His horn shall be exalted in glory. The heart of the just one is firm, trusting in the Lord. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord.
some Pharisees and Herodians were sent to Jesus to ensnare him in his speech. They came and said to him, Teacher, we know that you are a truthful man and that you are not concerned with anyone's opinion. You do not regard a person's status, but teach the way of God in accordance with the truth. Is it lawful to pay the census tax to Caesar or not? Should we pay or should we not pay? Knowing their hypocrisy, he said to them, Why are you testing me? Bring me a denarius to look at. They brought one to him, and he said to them, Whose image and inscription is this? They replied to him, Caesar's. So Jesus said to them, Repay to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, and to God what belongs to God. They were utterly amazed at him. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. We have seen two stories in our readings today about people being confused. People trying to confuse us or situations trying to confuse us. May mga pagkakataon po sa buhay natin na may mga sitwasyon na magugulo ang pag-iisip mo. Parang hindi ka mapakali, hindi mo maintindihan. May mga sitwasyon na guguluhin ka at minsan may mga tao na guguluhin ka. Halimbawa sa ating ebanghelyo ngayong araw, may mga tao, mga pariseyo, na sadya, sinadya nilang guluhin si Jesus, lituhin si Jesus. The Pharisees and the Herodians were really trying to test Jesus, to confuse His mind, to confuse His understanding, but see, if you are with God, then even in the midst of confusion and misunderstanding, you regain your wisdom, your understanding. You will not be defeated by any confusion. Jesus was able to stand the tests Jesus was able to see light in the midst of this confusion. Our first reading also tells us of the, the condition of Tobit. He was blinded with cataracts, and for four years, he was not able to see Siguro po, alam niyo yung pakiramdam. Imagine ninyo na nagkaroon ka ng katarak at apat na taon ay hindi ka makakita. Aba, e talaga namang magugulo ang isipan mo. Iinit ang ulo mo. Masisira ang mga pagdedesisyon mo sa buhay because of your sickness. And that is also what happened to Tobit in our first reading. This situation of his sickness, of his cataract that led to his blindness for four years, this led him to confusion, misunderstanding. But later on, we will see in the story of Tobit that through God, he will be enlightened in the midst of his situation. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, we are celebrating Saint Justin, the martyr. He was also being confused by many different teachings at that time. Different philosophies, 
different teachings. But when he found Jesus Christ, his mind became enlightened. He was now able to understand. My dear brothers and sisters, there are times and there will be times that confusion will come because of different situations and even because of people who cause us confusion. Let us go to Jesus because in times of confusion, in times of disillusionment, Jesus will enlighten our minds. Darating po ang mga panahon na parang maguguluhan tayo, hindi natin alam ang gagawin, hindi natin alam ang iisipin. Lumapit kay Jesus sapagkat siya ang magliliwanag, magbibigay ng kaliwanagan sa ating mga pag-iisip. I would just like to uh, specially greet the RVM sisters, the religious of the Virgin Mary sisters who are watching every morning the RVM sisters who are in the infirmary of their uh, community. Ibig sabihin, yung mga retired sisters natin o kaya mga may sakit na nasa infirmary ng kanilang community, I know that you are watching every morning in the Mass at the Manila Cathedral and we know that you are locked down in your infirmary because many of you are seniors already. You cannot go out of your community. Many of you are sick. You are just confined in your place. And I can just imagine how difficult it is for you to be stranded in one place, in one building, for more than a year. And sometimes it may cause you confusion. Baka umiinit na ang ulo ninyo dahil gustong gusto nang lumabas. At mahigit isang taon nang nakakulong sa loob ng tahanan, sa loob ng bahay, o sa loob ng kwarto. Go to Jesus in times of confusion and He will be the one to give us light in times of this darkness. My dear brothers and sisters, like St. Justin the Martyr, today in this Eucharist, let us receive the light from Christ so that our minds and our lives may be enlightened by Jesus. Amen. Please stand. Christians live in two dimensions, as citizens of the city of God and as citizens of the world. Let us pray for the needs of this world with our hearts set on the endless kingdom that is to come. For every petition, let us say, Lord, may our hearts rest in you. Lord, may our hearts rest in you. That the leaders and members of the church may be true to their calling to be prophetic witnesses against inhuman crimes and injustices. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord may, may our, our hearts rest, rest in, in you. That government leaders may use justly the things that belong to Caesar. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord may, may our, our hearts rest, rest in you. That community leaders and citizens may have a sense of responsibility as voters and taxpayers. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord may, may our, our hearts rest in you. That those who are sick may realize that their suffering, undertaken in union with Christ, 
can be turned into a great blessing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord may, may our, our hearts rest in, in you. That those who have passed through death may reach the eternal city. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord may, may our, our hearts rest in you. you. Lord of all history, we place our requests in your care, knowing that all peoples, times, and events are within your provident plan. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Grant us, we pray, O Lord, that we may celebrate worthily these mysteries which St. Justin strenuously defended through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyr, Justin, poured out like Christ's to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and, and earth are, are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the, the highest. Blessed, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the, the highest. highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold, 
the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not, not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Refreshed by heavenly food, we humbly implore you, O Lord, that, attentive to the teaching of St. Justin the Martyr, we may abide at all times in thanksgiving for the gifts we have received. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Before the grand horizon, five hundred years of faith, grateful today, we bear the gift of nation, totally yours we give ourselves, faithfully yours until the end, to your mission, Lord. We give our yes.